Hi, I'm Michael Voris. Before today's episode, I'd like to invite you to please check out our website at churchmilton.com. We cover the latest Catholic news happening all over the world, and don't forget to check out our premium channel with hundreds of hours of apologetics, catechesis, church history, stories of saints, and a whole lot more. We've received countless testimonies that because of shows such as The One True Faith or Basic Training or Case Files, that people have grown such a deeper love for God and His Holy Church. I'd like to invite you to visit our site and learn as much as you can. Keep us in your prayers and we'll do the same for you. Enjoy today's episode of The Vortex and we'll see you at churchmilton.com. God love you. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. So here we are, about a third of the way through Lent, and the big question, how's it going? Being faithful to your increased prayer, fasting, and almsgiving efforts? Well, don't worry if you're not, but do step it up. Remember, the point of this is to prepare for death, and perhaps even by means of martyrdom, and not about doing your part to keep your water clean like the bishops of Iowa think you should do, or decrease your carbon footprint. What you are doing during Lent should be something the effects of which will follow you into the next life, not end when you die. The church is about your salvation, not lessening your contribution to fake man-made climate change idiocy. See, what we do here at Church Milton is twofold, different sides of the same sword. People's ability to recognize the glories of Holy Mother Church are severely diminished because of all the heresy and the dissent that has now just become institutionalized. And then there is the even greater problem, yes, greater than heresy and dissent, and that is the subtle redefining of the church that is taking place in a million little almost invisible ways. Almost invisible. It is a presentation of the church and the faith never before done in our 2,000-year sacred history. And it has been going on for so long now that the average Catholic has simply accepted this new church as the Catholic Church. It's a church with no anchor to speak of to its own past. Tradition has become so marginalized, so sidelined, so forgotten for so long now, almost for complete four generations, that... Catholics now think that what they see before them is the church, how it's always been. And for them, it is. And you can't really blame them, but you can warn them. In fact, you are duty-bound to warn them, to alert them, to make them sit up and pay attention to you. You can certainly inform a bishop or your pastor what they are saying is wrong or ill-advised, that their prudential decision is going to have negative effects and they are being short-sighted. And as affairs run, the superior superiority complex will immediately become evident and you will be brushed aside. But that's just by the self-interested establishment of professional Catholics. Average people around you can be spoken to and engaged with because for people who aren't married to the institutional rot, who don't have a dog in that fight, some of them are much more likely and willing to give you a hearing. That's because many of them, Many are men of goodwill, and as a consequence of their goodwill, they are able to sort of look around and observe the disaster that has befallen the church. They're asking questions. Even if they are only momentary or infrequently occurring, they're asking questions inside their minds. Questions like, boy, there sure seems like there used to be more people at this 10 a.m. mass. Where do they all go? Or, hmm, that's strange. How come almost everyone who graduated with me from St. Francis High School is no longer Catholic? Hmm. Sure seems like I hear a lot about parishes closing up all over the place. Many people see these things and don't have enough knowledge to answer their own questions. To them, a loss of supernatural faith on the part of many clergy wouldn't even enter their minds, just as it didn't when we here at Church Militant first started seeing these problems. We did figure out the answer, like many good Catholics before us, and now we tell everyone and anyone who will listen so that they'll tell two friends about it, and they'll tell two friends, and so on, and so on. But these are dangerous waters indeed. While telling the truth about the devastating corruption of the clergy, which has dragged many souls away from the one true faith, you also have to explain the glory of the faith. You have to encourage people to be Catholic, to become as converted to our blessed Lord as is possible for them in their lives and situations. 
This requires many things, but chief among them is prayer. This is precisely why we went to the time and expense and continual man hours of live streaming our morning and evening prayer every weekday from our beautiful chapel here at Church Milton Studios. A chapel, by the way, that many visitors who come by remark is more beautiful than their home parish, which sadly, for the most part, isn't a very high bar, but we digress. Since we began our live streaming, we have refined our video feed and have now made it easier to follow along in the Christian prayer book by posting all the page numbers for every feed. Most Catholics are woefully unaware of the liturgy of the hours, and many of the few who are aware find the book, well, pretty confusing with its constant flipping of ribbons and going backwards and then jumping forward a couple hundred pages, seemingly randomly. It's a little difficult to begin with, absolutely, but since Holy Mother Church strongly recommends to the laity to pray the Liturgy of the Hours, we have set up our feed to make it as easy as possible until you catch on yourself. It does take a little time, but it certainly isn't impossible. If we can do it, you can. Perseverance and patience, that's all it takes. In the meantime, you are praying, and you are praying with other faithful Catholics all over the world who are also praying with us. All you have to do is just come to the site on weekday mornings at 8 Eastern time and or 4.45 p.m. on weekday afternoons for evening prayer. If you're looking for a way to increase your prayer life a little during Lent and then hopefully afterwards keep it going, this would be some great encouragement for you. Likewise, if you don't own a Christian prayer book, we have them for sale as well as many other places online. We also use our own St. Michael's Media Church Milton prayer book for the specific prayers we do around the Liturgy of the Hours here at this apostolate. That's available only through us since it's exclusive to us, but it's only a few bucks. We deliberately priced it low so we could make it easy and affordable for people who want to pray with us. Both books are available by just clicking on the link to our store provided here on this page. Want to be part of Help Saving Souls and Steering the Church Back? Then prayer and personal holiness are absolutely essential ingredients to this mission. Not to mention, of course, the mission of our own individual salvation. We make these available to you so you can join us directly in our work, a kind of peering in each day to gather with us in prayer. But whether you join us specifically or not, pray and increase your prayer for Holy Mother Church. God love you, and we'll see you in the chapel. I'm Michael Voris. Hello, Militant. If you were silently nodding your head to today's Vortex episode, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to check out our website at churchmilitant.com. We keep up to date with all the latest in the Catholic world and also have loads of one-of-a-kind Catholic videos covering everything from church history to apologetics. Countless people have told us how much our work has helped them to become more faithful Catholics. So please follow our social media channels as well. The links are right below. Hope to see you tomorrow for The Vortex and much more. Thanks and may God bless you.